Hello, Team Sagittarius. I hope you're all well. This is your Love Tarot reading. We'll be getting into your energy and your person's energy, and then um, whoever's thinking about you, I should say. Okay? And then um, let's see what else Spirit has to say, right? So, Sagittarius, I'm also I'm getting um, that you're disconnected from someone because you, you feel like you had no choice, okay? It feels like that. So it's kind of like, okay, I had no choice. Um, yeah, things just, like I had to isolate for myself from this person. I had to disconnect or I had to break up. It's like you feel like you had no choice. And you're going through, um, you lost faith. Yeah, you lost faith that this would work out. I'm sorry if anybody is going through heartache right now. I know this is a timeless reading, but you guys are in different timelines right now, okay? So somebody here that you are disconnected from, um, you keep going out of nostalgia for this person, right? Um, like, I just heard, why am I fooling myself? It's not going to... <clears throat> so some of you feel like because the energy of that person, whoever this is, Saj, um, let me know in the comments, the energy of this person, it was so hard. It feels like, um, it feels like a punishment from the universe. That's what it feels like, right? Or whoever, whoever, whatever you believe in, God, source, creator, universe, spirit, whatever. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and some of you are like, you know, I just feel like it's not over. Okay. So it's hard for you to move on. And and some of you are blaming yourselves. Um, but what I'm hearing here is like, I know this like sucks when people say this, but, um, and this might be triggering Sagittarius, but it doesn't mean to be spirit saying you really learned a valuable lesson. You, there's so much growth in this relationship that you had. Sorry, somebody called. Um, yeah, there is definitely some sort of imbalance. Okay. But I feel like this was very, um, it, it taught you a lot throughout this relationship, okay? And some of you um, feel like it's going to still come around, okay? Um, uh, this is hard energy. I'm sorry, Sag. With whatever um, you're going through, okay, at this time. But let's see who what's who's on your who's thinking about you, Sagittarius, and let's see who is on your mind. You know also what it feels like, Sag. Um, what I'm getting, right? It's like you. It's like you know deep down inside that. You and this person couldn't give each other a balanced give and take, okay? I'm getting Cancerian energy. Like, you know deep down inside, like, you couldn't give each other that, you know? Okay. Oh, also, I'm getting some of you might get a good opportunity um, for a job or some type of promotion, or I'm hearing reward too, okay? So Spirit, who is thinking about Sagittarius right now? <clears throat> who is thinking about Sagittarius? Ah, this is crazy. <clears throat> I was seeing this in my, like, in my mind, okay? Ace of Pentacles, when I said, right before I said that, right? Who's thinking about Sagittarius? Okay. 
I don't know. Are you, um, I'm getting a mixed reading here. Some of you, you could have worked with this person. Okay. But for others of you, there is somebody here. Oh. Hold on, guys. This is getting interesting. Okay. Okay, Saj, this is what I'm seeing. There is, this is not the same person we're talking about, okay, in this reading. I mean, this is not the same person, okay? I'm getting an energy of another yeah i just got another beep for a conf confirmation about what i'm supposed to say there is someone else here that you have not met yet okay and spirit is saying here it's because you're not ready for this person there's someone else here and this person when they come into your life it's going to be so familiar like if you're going to feel like you've been married to that person, there is this undeniable comfort level that you're going to feel with this person. This is soulmate energy. And I know right now, Sagittarius, you don't want to hear this because some of you are still, you know, you still want this person, right? It's, it's like a fresh wound for some of you. And um, just save this video and come back to it when you're feeling better, okay? Um this is someone that is like, how should I say this? They're far from you now. This is like a very good potential. And this is going to be somebody um, that you might spend the rest of your life with. Okay. I'm getting very specific messages for this. Um, harmony. I'm hearing harmony. I don't know what that is. It could be something significant or it's Hermione. I don't know. <laughs> um, maybe a name. Um, I'm, I'm hearing the name Todd. There is someone here that is like, So in regards to this person, they're going back to this person and what you learned. Some of you, this person kept changing your, their mind about you, okay? Or they were always at an indecision about you, whether you guys should stay together, leave, do blah, blah, blah. It was that kind of energy, right? Um, this person is going to be so sure about you. Okay, Sagittarius, this person... It's like they are being guided by spirit. So their intuition is on par. They know how to make decisions. They like once they make a decision, that's it. It's that kind of energy. Okay. And look at this communication will be very good with this person. You and this person communicate uh, up front. You know, there's no like, you know, mixed signals. There's no nothing like that. Okay. Um, yeah. Wow. So, you know, the spirit is saying basically, cause I wanted to get a timeline for you, Sagittarius of when this person is supposed to come about. And I feel like this person comes around when you are feeling more confident. You are, um, you know, maybe right now you're in hermit mode. Like you're not going out with friends. You're not socializing. Um, you're, you, some of you have isolated yourself, okay? This person comes into your life when you are ready, like what Spirit said, okay? So there is someone, it's like they're saving for you is what I'm hearing, Spirit, tell me more about this. 
I don't know why I just heard upside down triangle. Okay. Could it be this person and you were in a like a um, in a triangle triangulation? Um, what is that called? Like if I don't know if um, this person could have been married or you've been married. There was some type of infidelity. Okay, for some of you. Okay. Spirit, anything else you want us to know about Sagittarius? I mean, Sagittarius to know. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> this is such a... <clears throat> this person right here... Um, like I said, there's somebody, this person could literally be a teacher for some of you. I'm hearing that or a counselor. Um, this person helps people. Okay. They could be in like community services or people services, whatever, something like that. Okay. Helping people. But this person, um, they, are they're going to come in your life like I said when when you're when you are more optimistic Sagittarius okay when you are um in your power okay look yeah I'm telling you this is divine timing divine timing at play I know some of you are sick of hearing that but I have to tell you that when you get into that energy, Sagittarius, you're going to attract this person and that's when they're going to come in. Because if they come in right now, I'm just saying, I just heard it very loud and clear. If they come in right now, you're going to mess this whole thing up. Okay? No judgment here. We've all been through it. Yeah. You're going to mess this whole thing up because Capricorn energy here because you're so still attached to this person, okay? And some of you, I just heard say, oh, should I sever the cords? I do not believe in that, okay? Um, I don't believe in severing cords because that will cause you a lot of pain and that person a lot of pain. And that's what, e you know, your ego wants you to do, right? If you're getting things in your mind, no souls... No, your soul self will never sever cords, okay? Let's just put it that way. Ego is like that because ego has fear. Fear of like, no, you're so powerful, Sagittarius. You don't need to sever cords, okay? You can just block this person. If it's easier for you to move on from this person, you could just block their energy, okay? Ask spirit, whoever you believe in, God, creator, source, universe. You know what? Please block this person's energy so it'll be easier for me to move on. Because I do not see this person making movement towards you. Okay, Sagittarius. I'm sorry if you want them to, but I don't see it happening. Spirit, can you just confirm that about this past person? Yeah. Okay, the tower. Um, three of swords. Okay. I don't think this person is going to get over all the disappointments that they, um, have been through or the pain they've been through. Um, and this person is more focused on themselves and their own energy right now. Okay. And I feel like they're going to stay there. I don't see that things can change, but I don't see that happening for a long time. Sagittarius. But there is someone here that you and them will make a beautiful pair, okay, Sag. And they will come in at the perfect timing, but it's when you are vibrating better, okay? Doesn't have to be higher because whatever goes down must come up. Whatever is up must come down, right? So it is more when you are confident, you are more optimistic, there is a new energy birthing within you right? You're not, um, 
looking to the past. You don't have, you're not walking around with this person's energy any longer, okay? That's when this person is going to come in, and this is definitely divine counterpart energy, okay? So spirit is, you know, bringing this together. And at, like I said, you will know who this person is because you are going to feel you're married to them when you met, meet them. Like, it's going to be so obvious. It's going to feel so familiar. You're going to be so comfortable, okay, with this person. And you're going to have to catch yourself like, why am I so comfortable with this person? I shouldn't be. You know, it's that kind of a feeling, Sagittarius, okay? So I hope that this has helped you, Sag. Let me know in the comments how you feel about this reading. I wish you all the best and peace out.